Hey, good morning or good afternoon or whatever Phi Theta happens. Um, this is Laura Christensen, one of your vice presidents of service and I apologize I can't be at the noon meeting today, but I have a whole lot of stuff to disseminate to you. So I'm shooting a video while I walk to class to help facilitate the spread of information. Um, congratulations to all of you who were inducted last night. You looked fabulous, so great to have you. But I want to talk about something we as Phi Theta Kappa International are involved in. Our international service project is Operation Green, which, you know, it's partnered up with Keep America Beautiful. And Keep America Beautiful has been around since 1953. Currently, Keep America Beautiful is working on the Great American Cleanup, which is to inspire people to, you know, clean up their communities, clean up parks, clean up waterways, and it runs from like March to May. So we're in the middle of that. So in order to work on a service project, we were thinking we could do a campus cleanup. Because if you look around, it looks not, not so great. But I wanted to look at the stuff that I see while I'm walking to class. I park in the east lot. And let me tell you, there is a lot of stuff on the ground as I walk up to class. So why do people litter? People litter where they feel no sense of ownership. <clears throat> people litter when someone else will clean up after them. And people litter, what was the other one? Oh yeah, where litter has already accumulated. They've done studies in places like New York City with people handing out pamphlets, you know, they pamphlet everything up there. But so if there's a trash can and people throw paper in the trash can, more people who receive the papers are going to throw them in the trash can too. As soon as one person drops a paper on the ground, everyone starts dropping them on the ground, even if there's a trash can right next to where they're dropping them. So people litter where litter has already accumulated. <sighs> one of the biggest litter problems that I have noticed on this campus is the littering of cigarette butts. Um, they did a whole presentation at convention, which was awesome, just got back from, I'm not quite recovered with sleep yet. But what it comes down to is people who would, would never, would never, you know, throw a soda can on the ground, would throw paper on the ground, would just leave their stuff lying around, don't think twice about throwing their cigarette butts on the ground. They don't think of it as litter, they just think of it as, you know, a cigarette butt. Can you see that one? Oh, right there. It gets worse, let me tell you. Oh, I apologize for like the Blair witchiness of this. Um, but so, we were thinking of, instead of doing just a campus cleanup, other schools of their, um, okay, sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to say a lot all at once. Keep America Beautiful has on their website a cigarette litter prevention program, which we could work to put into. I'm sure that our campus administrators would greatly appreciate this effort. Part of the reason they put up the smoking huts, you know, is they wanted to go smoke free, but you know, smokers have rights too. But as far as I'm concerned, smokers don't have the rights to throw their cigarette butts everywhere. But they put those smoking huts up because they wanted to reduce the cigarette butt litter that was all over campus, making it look trashy. So we're gonna look at that. Um, our plan was to potentially do a cleanup on May 8th, which is a Thursday. It's the week after spring day, classes are almost over, and it would be in place of our member meeting. We figured if we did it during the school day, people would feel bad seeing students cleaning up, you know? But if we wanted to do, you know, a cigarette litter prevention, then we could do a kick butt program, in which case we could have a contest and raise money to fund this contest and whoever, you know, picked up the most cigarette butts would get like $200 or something, whatever, within an hour, within the lunch hour. <clears throat> so for that we'd need, well, we'd need a lot of stuff. We'd need the money, for one. We'd need volunteers to supervise areas. Um, we'd have to get in touch with facilities to get the actual receptacles cleaned out first, so, you know, people can't cheat. And we'd need bags and stuff. I don't, bags and gloves. You don't want to touch them with your hands, trust me. Um, I don't know if we can get the bags and gloves from secure, from facilities. If not, we can go to the Keep America Beautiful website, check it out there, and they have the whole cigarette litter prevention program on there. 
which would be useful. Or we could go to local health clinics and see if they'll donate bags and gloves to us. Um, we'd need people to volunteer that day, as I said, to supervise areas and, oops, sorry, um, to keep track of how many, who's cleaning up what, you know, um, and have clipboards and we could record how many we picked up. Another key thing to doing this in May would be, it'd be just before graduation, so hopefully, you know, it wouldn't look so bad come graduation. Look at that. How gross is that? But, yeah. <clears throat> See? Wait, it, this is the good part. And by good, I mean awful. I don't know if you can see. Do you see all of the cigarette butts? Do you know where we are? That's where we are. But why are they here? I don't really know. Because the receptacles are full, we need to get on facilities for that too, you know what I mean? But they're everywhere. And it just looks like it looks like crap. And excuse my French on that one. But it does. So, hey, thanks for walking with me. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the meeting today. But really want to get on that. I will be at the meeting tonight and the one tomorrow um, at noon. But today I have a different meeting to go to. But I think it would be a great effort. Like I said before, if we do it during the school day, I think people who do litter would be more likely to maybe change their habits if they see their peers cleaning up as opposed to, you know, some facilities people. Um, what else was I going to talk about? Ah! Phone's ringing. Hold on. Um, yeah, so that would be May 8th. Uh, a couple of other things to have on board. We want to work on spring day, which is May 1st, but yeah. Um, we want to do pie or the professor for this. Think about people you would want to pie, and we got to work on that. But yeah, would love all of your help, and I will see you later on. Oh, this is this is crazy. If you come over here to the beginning of the LA building, and you look. Hi, but, uh, uh, not, not, not that and you look. Do you see all of that right next to the door? You would have to. Uh, that says no smoking on campus except in designated areas. And, well, not exactly a designated area. But thank you for your time. I hope the rest of the meeting goes well. And I will see you all later. Thanks.